All right, everybody, here's a quick ACES tutorial if you're using Arnold in Cinema 4D and After Effects. Let's make this quick. If I pull up my IPR window here, everything looks you know, exactly how it should. Uh, I haven't changed anything. Everything's set to the default right now. So you're looking through your ACES color space for your view. That's all well and good. So if I was to open up my render settings right now and save Let's just say we're going to save it as a JPEG, just so you can get a quick look on what this is, uh, on what you think this is, this should look like. All right, so this is just going to kick out a JPEG based on what the IPR looks like. All right, so you're getting a lot of color, a lot of saturation, um, a lot of contrast. It should be exactly what you expect to see, as I said, when you're looking through the IPR. Now, this is all well and good if you want to kick it out this way, but you're really limiting yourself in terms of what you can do. And what, how you can take advantage of the ACES workflow in terms of uh, you know what you can do later in compositing with exposure and color grade and all that kind of stuff. So this is saved. Now let's do it a different way. Let's go in and let's go down to Arnold and we'll go to Color Manager. This is the default right now. I haven't changed anything. It's setting up to use the ACES workflow, which is great. You're looking through the ACES um, SDR for your for your color transform in the, in the viewer. But if you look here, it says bake that into the file. So you're baking the color transform. You're baking the color adjustment into the file, which means you can't take it off later in compositing to take full advantage of ACES. So all you need to do is uncheck this box. There you go. Uncheck that. Go back to save. And this time we'll save it as an EXR file, which is going to automatically go to 32 bits. Um, I could I didn't, I didn't try a 16-bit yet, but for your beauty passes for your RGB, it's usually fine to go to 16-bit. Um, you want to save your utility passes and stuff like that. You know, it's 32, but um, I'm gonna keep it at 32. I'll try it at 16 some point, and that's probably gonna be on a per project, and possibly even a per shot basis. We'll come back to that another time. So I'm just gonna call this baked, or uh, actually Arnold uh, not baked. I think I already saved one of these like that, so yeah, uh, we'll just go over top of it. So even as that's rendering there, I hope you can see there's a lot less contrast. The color is more uh, muted, and that's fine because you don't have the color transform baked into this, which is exactly what we want. So flipping over to After Effects, let's bring in those two files. We'll bring in the baked JPEG and the not baked EXR. I'm going to drag the EXR into a new comp, make sure that my display management is all set properly. Uh, 32, sRGB, linearize, yep. Okay, now let's put the JPEG on top, right? That's what we expect to see based on the Arnold IPR. So how do we get back to this? It's really easy. I'm going to just do uh, Control-Alt-Y, throw an adjustment layer right above the, the unbaked raw version, okay? On that adjustment layer, I'm going to apply this animation preset. Um, I saved it. I saved that out as a preset, so I don't have to do this every time. Um, so you need the Open Color IO plugin, which if you just Google um, Nord or F Nord Open Color OCIO plugin, you can download that and get that all installed. Uh, it takes five minutes. Um, once when you do have that done. Or after you have that done, you want to make sure you click this display button right here, okay? Not convert. That's what I had on when I first started this, and I was wondering why I was all messed up. So make sure you click display. You can use the 1.0.3 uh, config. Make sure your input space is the ACES CG. That way it matches what you had in Cinema 4D. Your display is going to be on ACES, but you're going to be viewing it through an sRGB transform because you're doing this on a computer monitor, I assume. Um, after that, let's get this color profile converter on there um, to get rid of the gamma curve that After Effects puts on. So three changes on there. Your input goes to sRGB, your output is sRGB, and make sure you linearize your output profile. Save that, you know, grab those two things, save it uh, as an animation preset so you can apply it every time easily. So now look, if I, uh, there's the raw, there's the baked JPEG, right? Big difference. But if I put the adjustment layer on, I'm just going to call this uh, ACES, 
And if I turn this JPEG off now, now you're going to look at the baked or the, the, the non baked with the color transform on top. And it should be ta -da, exactly the same. Here's where it gets cool. If I was to go take an exposure node, I'm sorry, an exposure adjustment, I'm still, still in, in nuke in my head. And I throw that on top of the JPEG and I stop down like five stops. This turns into just like a gray mess. Um, it, it kills the intensity of the light. It really kills the, the fall off of the light. You're starting to get some banding. It's just, it's nothing good, right? If I take this exposure and copy it and I put it on top of um, the raw, I should do that on adjustment layer, but whatever. Um, if I turn that off now, see that, look at that. It's the same exact exposure, just stop down, you know, you're stopping down five stops. Um, but what a difference. This is with the ACEs, the ACEs workflow. You can still see there's that hot spot. It's really nice fall off. It's not turning into just like a gray mess. It feels like you're actually just stopping down a lens as opposed to, you know, doing it on a JPEG where it just looks like you took this gray solid and stuck it on top. It's kind of a mess. So there you go. I mean, I don't know what more proof you need than those two images right there to see why, you know, working in an ACES workflow uh, with EXR files, with floating, you know, with floating point imagery, um, it, it just, it's just so less limiting, you know? There's probably a more eloquent way I could have said that, but whatever. All right, there you go. ACES in Arnold, C4D, and After Effects. Hope that helps. And uh, go make something cool. See ya.